Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another news video, discussion video. This is going to be a big one because, well, I, let's say I did record an episode yesterday, and legitimately five minutes after that episode, my mouse died, and then next thing I know, <laughs> a bunch of new cards came out, and I legitimately just came back from buying a new mouse, and there's even more cards to talk about, so this is an all Yuku episode. <laughs> So God, let's just let's just get right into this. <coughs> okay, so artwork. Yep, I don't know why I bought these up. <laughs> I mean, if anything, Judai's card looks very nice. Like, I we're getting. I, I have Duelist Pack is definitely gonna be giving us a lot more protection support. That's for sure. <laughs> let's talk about Chaos Impact. Mainly because this is everything about the TCG stuff. Mainly because, as you can say, sell Dreamer, um, Dreamer stuff. Um, we won't really be going rarities and that. Yeah, nothing really unrevealed. Oh, they're called. So they're calling the Huggies Unchanged Soul. Okay then. And then we got ten years. Better Netta. <laughs> Better Netta. <coughs> God, I need to actually find out what card that is then. Let's see, um, here we go, first card, Monster Express, um, by the looks of it, I think it's supposed to be train support, it is a level 4 machine, earth machine, so, keep in mind this is all chaos impact, so, you can target one face up, you control, one face up, it doesn't have to be anything, it's just one face up, I presume that's supposed to say, monster, it just says face up, so, we'll see about that. <coughs> Pardon me. My cough is flying up because of the weather. We have a really bad storm front coming in right now. Uh, we hope you can't hear it. Um, we're not even at the worst of it. Like, in two hours' time from now, it's going to be a lot worse. So, um, you can target one face up, you control. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard with the same original type as that face up monster. So, it does have to be a face up monster, okay. Um, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon monsters. Except the monsters of the same original type or as the monsters integrated by this effect. So why is this good in trains? Like I don't know. Um anyway, next earth rock thing. You can set this card from your hand from your hand to the spell trap zone as a spell. This is speaking my entrance. <laughs> Um, during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was destroyed by a permanent card effect this turn while set in on your field, special summon this card, then add one monster from your graveyard to your hand, except for, well, this card with the same name as this card. You can only use this effect once per turn. This is, I really want to put this in troll packs. I have a deck that I really want to try to make working for like, I mean I had it for years now, it's um, troll effects, so it's like a trolley version of artifacts. Oh, I'm going to see if I can work this in now. <laughs> anyway, I'm a, a level 6 earth synchro, insects, a lot of insects. Uh, but let's, let's go desert lotus, and it, it's legitimately just people riding on giant lotuses, it's kind of weird. It's a tuna as well, wow. It's generic, okay. If this card's single summon, this turn player discards one card. <laughs> okay, um. Alright, um, once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can quick effect immediately after this. Okay, so it's legitimately one of those synchro tuners that's supposed to climb during your opponent's turn. I don't get it. Alright, normal spell card. Tribute one effect monster, especially summon one non effect monster of the same original type of attribute from your graveyard. Tyrant Farm, by the way. Same, it shares the same card as Fertilizer, I believe. What the fuck's going on? I bought a new mouse. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, um, <laughs> I guess quickly we'll bring it up. Yep, that's my new mouse right here. Uh, new out the box, 50 bucks. I, I was really lucky with it. Why did I open that? No, I can just bring this up, because I just want to double check if this has the same card as the card I was thinking. It does run any fertilizer. Oh, I haven't, um, up yeah. Yeah, it does. It's similar. Yeah, oh, so. 
we'll get into this. I'm going to have to quickly update this real quick. So, um, let's move on. Uh, brutal Battle Beast. No, Brutal ba Beast Battle. There you go. <laughs> Rules Battle Beast. Oh, much better. Good band. Um, if I mod. So it's not trap. Yeah, if a player controls two or more monsters of the same type, so Ritual, Fusion, Secret, XYZ, or Link, so that. Okay, so it doesn't count effects on normals. I mean, I guess effects are a bit weird, but normals? Eh. They must send some to the graveyard at, so they control no monster. No monster, then one monster of that card type. Then each player that sent a monster to the graveyard for this effect draws cards equal to the number of different card types you can, they control. And you can only activate it once per turn. This seems like something you would play against yourself to get a draw. Not really against other people. Probably don't play it. Ah, Dream Mirrors. This is the file I'm talking about. I, I want to see if they actually got decent cards. But let's begin with the fact it's level 4, so it's some rule, and it also has rank 4 potential. So, if this card is pressed on by the effect of the Dream Mirror Monster, you target one level A. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, yeah, again. Or lower Dream Mirror Monster in your graveyard. Except Thanatos, the Dream Mirror Friend. That's a stupid name. Um, special summon it in defense position. During the main or battle phase, <laughs> <coughs> if Dream Mirror Terror is is in a field zone, in a field zone, so your opponent can control it, fuck my life. Quick effect, you can tribute this card. Special sign, one Thanatos, the Dream Mirror Foe from your deck. Uh, they all have that effect, so uh, what you benefit from this is just graveyard. It's just a graveyard summon, really, on a special summon on top of that. I don't really like how this deck requires me to be special summoned by Dream Mirror Monsters. But there you go. Very slow, in my opinion, because of it. Um, so the next one is the Thanatos, the Dream Mirror Foe. We should have saw this coming. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, they'll be like this. Um, if this card is special summoned by the effect of the Dream Mirror Monster, this card can attack directly this turn. Well, fuck! <laughs> During the main or battle phase, if Dream Mirror of Joy is in a field zone, quick effect, you can shoot this card, special summon one Thanatos, the Dream Mirror Friend from your deck. And of course, you only use it once per turn. I mean, the Dread deck is quite nice. <coughs> it's like, that's a guaranteed 19 going straight. Yep. Nope, no, no problems. It's a Beast Warrior, though, which I find interesting. Not, It's not just straight up Beast, but okay. <coughs> Fine. Alright, next thing I have is a Fusion. Level 10 Fusion. I will admit, card art, very nice. Like, all, all the Dreamer stuff uh, has very nice card art, especially this second wave. Um, so this only requires two Dreamer monsters of different attributes. There are flights and dark, so it doesn't really matter. So while this card on the field is also dark attributes, because its base attribute is a light, makes sense, so it works both ways. Wait, this is a... that's a, that's a, that's a guy? No, that's a girl, what are you fucking talking about? Oh, jeez, if you fly out. That might be my two. If another monster you control is tutored, except during the damage step, you can target you can target one card on the field, destroy it. If this card in his own position possession is drawn by opponent's cards, okay, you can special summon one dream monster from your graveyard except for itself. Not bad. It does have synergy. I haven't seen a fusion yet though. So, you might have to run Genetic Poly, we'll see. Um, so when this card's added, add one Dream Mirror Monster from your deck to your hand. If Dream Mirror Joy's on the field, all monsters you control gain final attack attacking defense. Okay, and if Dream Mirror of Terror is in the field zone, all monsters you control lose power to attack or end defense. I, may, I think that personally should have been swapped around, especially with the fact they have foe which can attack directly, maybe they want to avoid you know, giving people access to a 2400 direct attacker, attacker. Uh, but you know, I still think it should be swapped around. <coughs> so next one is a quick play, Dream Mirror of Chaos. Oh, this so this is the fusion slot, it's a quick play, so fusion summon one Dream Mirror fusion monster from the extra deck. Using monsters you control, 
as fusion material. If you dream uh, of joy is on the field zone, you can also use monsters in your hand as fusion material. Okay, so it turns into a genetic boy, and then if it's Terra, you can just banish from your graveyard instead. That's quite interesting how they implement it, uh, especially with the field zone kind of thing. So depending on when you play it, it come it ha it can do different things. I think that makes the deck a little bit more interesting in terms of be just being really spicy. Spicy? That's not the right word. Let's move on. Um, so, Dreamer... Something. is Dreamer something. Uh, normal trap card. Choose one Dreamer of Joy and one Dreamer of Terror from your hand and or deck. Place them in your field zone and the other in your opponent's field zone face up. So you can effectively just make it. Wow. This way you can have both the field spells out. And then, wow, that's actually surprisingly good. Not good in mirror matches. And let's be honest, if the deck is heavily reliant on a field spell like most decks are these days, you won't, you won't really be staying there for long, would it? But yeah, again, I, I think it's a two-off. Yeah, two-off. You can come on your own retro so everything else. Um, Dreamer Omnomancy, Counter Trap. So, activate one of these effects. When your opponent activates a spell trap while Dreamer of Joy is on the field, you get that direction and destroy that card. If your opponent was with special summon monster while Dreamer of Terror is on the field, you get the summon if you destroy that monster. I like how it has two uses. The only problem is locked behind what field spells out. But again, with, it has synergy with. Something. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Um, Overburst Dragon. This is rocket support. So Yoni is linked to. It has 18 base. Not bad. It does have some weird arrows though. But I do presume. I know Swan Barrel Ray gives you this. Like gives you good arrows. We'll see. So this only needs two rocket monsters. So you can target one other long monster you control. Special summon one rocket monster from your hand. To the, to the zone that target points to. But the monster summoned by this effect cannot be used as. Link material and it's destroyed during the end phase. Da, da, da. If this card is destroyed by a battle or some player, target one rocket monster and grab add it to your hand. Uh, I don't think people will be using this. And by the looks of it, it's a rare, so yeah. Not exactly gonna be good. Astagul is an import. I won't talk about that. Bye bye damage. Now, this is a funky piece of card. Because I remember just, just. I was casually scrolling through this article this morning. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So it's a normal trap. It's de All I can say is it's definitely a better half break. So during your damage calculation, if your monster is attacked, your bowing damage can bowing monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. As you take bow damage it's oh sorry, if you take bow damage from that battle, your opponent takes effect damage equal to double that amount. You still take it, but you doubling it back. That's really good. On top of that, it's locked to damage calculation, and I believe most cards don't have an out to traps that activate during damage calculation. So that's a really good tech option. Like, if you like battle traps, that's a really good battle trap. I'm personally going to be trying to run it in, like, some decks. Maybe Watts. And the last trap is Dances with the Beast. I think this is the last one we can talk. Yep. So when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, while the combined attack of all face-up monsters they control is 8,000 or higher... Okay... So let's find three monsters of different names in attack position. One from, one from your hand, one from your deck, and one from your graveyard. And those three monsters are supposed to stop that? Like, that's either being played into a full board, or that's being played into a at least two massive beat sticks. At least. <laughs> Jesus, that is not good. Nah. Um. And then Action Magic's imports. Um. Nah, the Dreamer stuff isn't too bad. I think that's all the Dreamer stuff we're getting this set to. Yeah. There's none that we slip past us. I would say. Yeah, because they explain those ones down there. Yeah, no, and then, well, we now know Marine says Blue Tang is now a guaranteed secret there, so. 
Yep, that guess my heart's playing with Good thing I'm going to be playing Rich Crafters, especially with the new support out. Um, so, yeah, the CCG initial assault stuff is... Date's released. We won't be talking about a date. Here's the thing that's most interesting. Let's go into the product description. So, let's see. Um, that's for Anistis. This is going... This is for the... Another thing we have to talk about soon. This is a thing we need to talk about soon. Here's the one I'm interested in. We're apparently getting an official pirate thing. Like, an official pirate thing. You can argue that's what Skyfame Beard was supposed to be. Like, Sky Pirates, but you know, the, 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 let's be honest, the TCG release, fuck that. Right up the arse. By making them into a fucking mercenary group. And I was giving them a stupid name, which we will not acknowledge. But yeah, no, it's like, jeez, I, I can't wait to see what that is, because we already know what this theme is, and this theme is, this theme is definitely getting more support though. This, I want to see, and here's this where I want to just steer off. Go over to Ignition Assault. Okay, and then it's what? It's Eternity Code. What the fuck? Um, here we go. Scroll down. Because if we go through here, there's still blank spots. Here's the thing though. I'm still holding out hope. Hope. Like, lots of hope. We're still going to be seeing some resemblance of more Time Thief's support. If not, all this, because I highly doubt all these spots are going to be taken out by pirates. <sighs> but yeah, again, I can always be wrong, and I, if I get wrong, well, I don't know I have shit on my face. Or is it pie? One of the two. Clean pie, I mean. No, 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 no. <sighs> why, why did they call it a clean pie? It's just so annoying. Actually, is there anything? <sighs> You know what, let's go on a sidetrack real quick, because before we get into more Yuga news, I definitely sure I saw this coming. I've been watching a lot of worlds. We sh I sure I saw Kiana ban coming. Here's the thing, Kiana has an extremely high ban rate right now with Yumi, even after those nerfs. So, and the chances where Kiana was picked, she easily carried games. So yeah, Kiana nerfs coming your way. If you play Kiana, I am, well, I feel sorry for you. Because I honestly want to learn how to play Kiana, but after those nerfs, probably not. It's probably going to be like hard nerfs too. Um, various name confirms, don't really care. Here's the first archetype we have to talk about. And well, before we get into the archetype, let's talk about this, because I'm actually kind of excited for this. So this is unofficially a Haki support. Why? And, uh, and it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's immediately the best card in Haki's. Because Haki's are trash. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Haki's are trash. Let's talk to why I think Haki's is a really bad deck. Um, let's bring up my current Haki deck profile. Where is it? But, um, Haki, 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 Haki. Oh my god. Did I put on the Cosmos? Oh no, wait, there it is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm wearing my glasses and I'm still effectively blind. Here's my hockey deck. Uh, notice how many monsters are running. You may see I only there's only three monsters. Uh, well, because the main deck is only consisted of three monsters. Yeah, the rest of it is just back for support that you're expected to pop out of other ways. So I, I had to run Huggies and Cosmos. And like, it's just like... On top of that, they only have two normal summon targets at this point. <laughs> on top of that, they're not really splashable. Because you need to pop cards. Like, you really need to be popping cards. But, you know, I'm... This... Now, this is good. So it's a level 8. 3,000. Attack. 1,500 defense. You can only special summon it once per turn. If I'm monster you control, it 
If a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, special on this card from your hand. If this card is special, discard a card, destroy one card on the field. It's level 8, has a really good special thing condition, you can do it by yourself, and it has a pop. <coughs> and then, we're not even at the best part. During the end phase, if this card is in your graph, because it's destroyed there and sent from the field, of the field during this turn, you can special on this card from your guard, but plays it at the bottom of your deck when it leaves the field. It's recyclable. If this doesn't get short printed secret there, you need to pick up so many copies of these. It's just so good. It, and it's officially the best card in Harkies. Because even the extra deck in Harkies is shit. Because it requires you, your opponent, be special summoning monsters. <laughs> it's like... It just... Pick it up. Pick it up if you have a chance. I don't care. Just pick it up. Okay. Let's talk about this new theme. Um, this is an interesting theme. Because if you were paying attention while I was talking or, and reading things. This is an interesting deck. So it's based on the seven Olympian spirits. If you can someone say it's in time for Tokyo Olympics 2020. When Ignition Assault is going to come out. 2020 next year. It's almost like the time deck. Um, here's the thing: they're a ritual deck, but those, are, but all the ritual monsters double as ritual cards, <laughs> which is spells. So let's start with Megalith Ophil. So it's level four Earth Rock ritual monster. Ritual summon this card using any Megalith card, any Megalith card. So, and you can ritual summon it with any Megalith card. Yeah, so you, you can normal ritual it, or you can just use it in Megaliths. So, if this card is Ritual Sun, you can add one Megalith monster from your deck to your hand. Um, during your main phase, you can Ritual Sun one Ritual monster from your hand. You may also tribute monsters from your hand or field, including this card on the field. Those le total levels equal to or exceed the level of monsters you summon. Um, as far as I can tell, you have to... This, it has to be on field to use this effect. Not sure. We'll see about that. If if we go down and it doesn't really say anything in, in any of the other cards, we'll, I'll just presume that you can do it from hand. So the next one is Megalith Haggif. Haggif. <laughs> Something I noticed is that they have really low levels, to, like really low attack. And so far, they're all level fours. So, yeah, you can, so you can yeah, they'll have that condition. So, um, you can ritual if this card is ritual zone, add one megalith spell trap. The you have spell traps? None of them ritual spells though. As far as I could tell, yet again, I was just briefly looking for this before I went out for the day. Um, during your main phase, you can ritual zone one ritual monster. Yeah, they'll have that condition. Okay, so really. We're just looking at the main effects for now. Um, so, yep, two voters. Good, that's good. Next one is Megalith Orc. As far as I can tell, it looks like... A... No, it's not a combination of the two. Okay, never mind. So, if this card is ritual summoned, you can draw one card, then discard one. So this is the draw card. They're very heavy on the defense. I'm a bit concerned in the... To oh, here you go. Level 8. So, Megalith Phaleg. So, oh, this has two effects. Nice. So, you can discard this card. Oh, so this one is the one you used to Ritual Summon. Okay, then. You can, so, yeah, you can discard this card. Ritual Summon one Megalith Ritual Monster from your hand. You may also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels are equal or exceed the level of the monster you summon. And then, it has a second effect where monsters you control gain 300 attack effects for each Ritual Monster in your graveyard. That's quite good. <laughs> I, I, I'm a fan of things that have stacked effects like that. This is definitely strong green to the late, that's for sure. So, you can ritual summon this card using any megalith. You can discard this. Okay, so, so as far as I can tell, all the higher level stuff have those effects. Where you can discard. These are, so the big ones, the boss monsters effectively double as your ritual spells. That's in 
interesting. I thought the lower level ones would be double as that, but we'll... we'll mm. um, if the card is Vigil Summoned, you can target one card your opponent controls up to the number of Vigil Monsters with different names in your graveyard. Destroy them. Mm. Okay then, and then here we go. Made. I think this is the big boss monster. Yep, this is has to be the big boss monster. So, Megalith Alaton. Did I read the, this guy's name? Yeah, B, B fourth and <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's move on. So during your main phase, da da da. Nope, this one has the same thing where you can discard it and just use the ritual summon. When your opponent activates a spell effect that targets a card you control or cards you control, quick effect you can place one ritual monster from your guard to the boat. Who recycle with a negate and destroy? It does have the target cards you control, but that's still pretty good for a recycle. So now they've got the field spell, Megalith Portal. So, um, this is da da da. E first time each wish some monster would be destroyed, but about each turn is not destroyed. Good protection. Um, well, it's decent protection, I guess. Um, if Megalith monsters is special summoned, you can target one ritual monster in your graveyard. Add that monster to your hand. They've got mm, Megalith Promotion. It's continuous strap. You can target one level 4 lower monster control. Its level becomes double its original level until the end of the turn. That just seems like it's used just to help Vitra summon the big ones. I probably wouldn't run it any higher than one. And then Megalith Immersion. Immersion? Not Evosion. Em immersion. Okay. Um, you can target one Megalith monster in your guard, special on defense, but place it on your bottom attack when it leaves the field. That's a for you off, because you are discarding your big ones, so this is probably how you get the big ones up. Okay, no, it's not bad. It's not exactly good either. It probably does have some special ability in other decks. Um, I'm very thinking with the level 8, maybe you could get away with Monarchs. Level 8 focus decks? I don't know. Okay, let's move on, because there's a lot more I have to cover. Oh, good, the one I want to talk about. This is going to be the main piece. Might as well save time and save his card up now. No, I'm joking. Um, okay, so this is Witchcraft the Genie. I will say now, card art, very nice, very on point. And it probably won't be a secret there. Like Golem is. <sighs> okay, so during each main phase, quick effect, you can trigger this card, then discard one spell, spell summon. Yeah, we all know which crafters have that effect. Let's go into the second effect. Banish this card and one rich crafter spell card from your graveyard. This effect becomes the same as the effect of that spell card is that when it is activated. Key point activated. Key other key point. <laughs> um, this is effectively as you. It's a. It lets you get another one-time use. Here's the thing. You can maybe cycle off the rich crafters. Why you, Why would you banish resources like that? Because rich crafters, they have inherent, like, recursion. Why would you... I see it... Yeah. It's probably just the you get double uses out of, like, like holiday and creation. Uh, so, we comes down to what are the ratios? Well, here's the thing. I would recommend running two. So, if you're me, um, I, I'm personally, because I'm going to definitely do a new Witchcraft video now, even if it's like one card, fuck off, I'll find any reason to play this deck. Um, I'm, I would personally take out either two collaborations, two masterpieces, or, or one of each. For the video, I'm going to try out one masterpiece, no, taking out one masterpiece, one collaboration, running two genies. If you really want, you can take out a third collaboration, or, uh, yeah. If you really want to, you can just take out the, um, you can take out, you can reduce the a collaboration or the masterpiece to run the third scroll. If you really want to, I won't. I might try taking out Malfoy's fusion. Really depends, but yeah, I I think genius is too off. Maybe you could run a wonderful one as well now, if you really want to. 
so you have a guaranteed four to go into, like a guaranteed low lo low level monster you can go into. May I might try later, but yeah, I did save that right. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, give me a bit. Unfortunately, it it won't help the genie archetype <coughs> that doesn't exist. <coughs> No, Genie's a weird name, to be honest. It doesn't really fit in the arts and craft game of witchcraft is, but you know. Okay. God, there's so much more I have to talk about. Let's save the sinker thing for last, so I'll just open that up. We want to talk about that. There's one thing I want to talk about here. Catch copy we're gonna talk about. Oh god, so much shit. Actually, I actually have to. I, as tempted as I am to just like edit in Fernando's trash, we don't need to talk about that. And then I don't want to talk about the structure deck. I, I'm, this video is going to go for way too long if I did. <sighs> okay, Um. no, I said I'll do them all, so. Okay, the only thing I want to talk about here is that, that we are getting Gaga -ga support. Hopefully not one-off Gaga -ga -ga support. But who knows. And then, here we go. Perform the Heavenly Empyrean Celestial Magician. Yeah, alright, that's, I'm done nodding that card. Okay, catch copy. This is really good. I'm not gonna read the Fed because I really don't want to. I could feel my throat wanting to die on me. Uh, Fed to Lee, it's a trap card that lets you search everything. It lets you search any card in your deck when your opponent searches. It said you can't activate that card or the effects of that card for the rest of this turn. So, pretty much, that effect is just to stop you there from searching hand traps and activating it against your opponent. Which is good. Apart from that, it's a mandatory fee off, in my opinion. Like, I don't care it's a trap, it's a mandatory free off. <laughs> like, like most decks these days, especially if you're versing their decks, voter for their cards. So you, you might as well get a free search off of them. Okay, research in XYZ. Um, it has a good generic fetch. I don't know why it's locked to Chaos XYZs, and it's really shit support for Chaos XYZs on top of that. Let's move on. Um, Heroity, Heroity Beast Charge. I hope this isn't one-off support, because it's actually kind of good. Um, personally... If I want my Heroic Beast Force, I want them to be monsters with special summon conditions. Okay? Alright, let's go. Um, Arc Jet. Um, this is supposed to make Dyson Spear into something more splashable. So if you want to summon Dyson Spear in a machine deck, you can do it now. Um, it does have some really hard conditions on it. But, you know, not bad. Um, Kadot's Bubble is a Snake Rain. I'm always strict to snake around with protection. Um, yeah. It, at least it's a guaranteed plus one. But the fact that you're locked to special summons from the extra deck? Hmm. I personally would have removed from the, the extra deck condition. And it would have been all good. Protection on the hand? Pretty good. Decent. Okay. Cromley's. Um, not what Cromley's probably needed. Because it's a foolish burial. Why? And it's XYZ effect shit. So let's uh, move on. Alright, Seneca theme. Okay, um. I would read every single one of these card effects, but I won't. I'll just give you the general gist of each card. All you need to know going into this deck is that they're like Fire Fist, but with Ice Bear Soil like effects. They're not a stun deck, but they do have effects that do rely on having other cards of their archetype on field. Okay, let's go. Um, This one lets you send cards. Oh yeah, it has a protection effect. There's only one other card that has that protection effect, but you know. Yeah. So it has a effect that lets it protect itself. Um, you can send a card to control all from your hand to voter for a monster. And then when another send card monster's effect is activated, you can target one monster your opponent controls and send, return back to the hand. It's not bad. Um, yeah. 
They're all beast boys, by the way, so you can run fire fist backfire into this. Fire formations. Um, so here's, um, yeah, I said they're all based on romance of the three kingdoms. I think that's kind of neat, although their effects are still kind of uninspired, in my opinion. What well, their playstyle is. I won't, I won't, I won't harass anyone over it. I will try it out when it gets more support. Cause this deck is definitely crying out for more support. Okay, um, this one requires you to send continuous spell traps you control. Do rotor spell for spells and traps, and this one lets you negate effects when another single monster's effect is activated. Okay, let's move on. Uh, this one lets you s target. This one lets you send continuous spell traps you control to add to recycle different recycle send code spell traps with dip with a different name from your graveyard to your hand, and it lets you pop back both. Um, Okay, this one's where we get interesting. So this one is the other one has protection effect. This is where I get a bit of a problem. If you control fewer monsters than your opponent, you can send one card you control or in your hand to special on one single monster from your deck. And then this is where it gets different because these are wins. They have different effect. Um, so if an attack is declared for a battle involving another single monster you control, you can draw one card. Yeah, so... My, I'm assuming you're supposed to get the war effects off of what the winds winds battle effects. <laughs> Moving on, um, level sevens. This has so your opponent has to control monsters. So on, your opponent has to be the one that has to control monsters. I know I found that condition. Let's keep going. Um, other single monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's effects. Okay, that's again good blanket protection. And when your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Don't like how it's dependent, 100% dependent on your opponents controlling more monsters than you. So here we go. This one's a bit better. So if you're, if you control two or more single monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Really good. Doesn't rely on your opponent; it just relies on your playstyle alone. And I believe it's quite easy to get into that condition, especially with him. Yes, this guy. I think. Yep, this guy. And then, if the, this guy gets turn attack for each monster your opponent controls during its controls turn only. And then, if your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can have this effect, and then you can attack twice. You can declare two attacks effectively on monsters. It's not, it's not a double attack. It doesn't look like Lunar Lights. Okay. Okay. Um. So, this is why we like all the back row are based on, I believe, events that happen in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I'm not sure. Never read it. Um. So these this card pops itself, which is really good because it does have a pop effect. Um, during your main phase, if you're not a special zone, you can target on them and then voter for a, a voter for a different card. And then if it's sent from the field trap zone, you can special zone from your hand. Here again, it does it by itself, but you can speed up with other cards. Okay, um, the sun you alliance. So you control two or more single monsters with different attributes. At this point, you have to control a wind and water. Hopefully, there will. I'm hoping. I'm thinking there's going to be fire types. Hopefully, there'll be fire types. Because, like, come on, like it's romance of the three kingdoms. So let's say water is one kingdom and wind is another kingdom. Surely, surely fire is going to be one. It's going to be the third, last kingdom. But anyway, um, so you can declare one of the attributes. <coughs> Effects of all monsters your opponent controls of the declared attribute cannot be activated onto the end phase. Not bad. And if your opponent special summons, or if you activate a single monster's effect, all single monsters you control gain 300 attack for each single monster you control until the end of the turn. Quite good effect. No problems here. Um, continuous trap. So this one has three. So if a single monster attacks, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards until the end of the down step. Okay. At the start of your opponent's battle phase, if this card is 
face up in your spell trap zone, you can send this card to the graveyard. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot target Sinker Monsters for attack. Oh, that's good blanket protection there, but a bit pointless in my opinion. And then when this card's in your graveyard and your opponent declares an attack, you can just special you can just banish it and special summon a single monster from your deck. Um, for first wave, not bad. It's definitely playable with just back though. There is there will definitely be more support. There has to be. If they leave Senka like this, uh, yeah, no. No, especially with the deck being so heavy on its back row and only having three card back row. And on top of that, it is missing a third kingdom. See so, yeah. it. So that's all the year news this week. I I I just oh God, my foot wants to die on me. Don't even know how long this is going for because this thing. Forty minutes. Wow, I went on for forty minutes. I am so 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 sorry. Let's say ear sunriser. Well, I think I know. Sunlight, oh no, I'm thinking buddy fight again. <coughs> anyway, I'm gonna just use this as, or maybe not. Yeah, anyway, um, that's the end of all the Yu Gi Oh news things. I hope you enjoyed. Actually, I may will use Sunriser. But yeah, um,. Yeah, I, I really hope this is not one of support in terms of this thing. I want to see this more. I really want to say there's going to be more coming. Especially with Ignition Soul, I hope... I, re I can't wait to do the Pirates. Pirates really depends on how good they are. And how complete they feel. I might give them their own video. Um... And yeah, Initial Assault is getting his own box review. I'm I'm gonna see if I can all notice from my friends to do Chaos Impact. And yeah. So yeah, probably next time you see this is gonna be a proper focused discussion on a box overview for Initial as not Initial Assault, Chaos Impact. Because I don't think everything has been revealed for that yet. I'm gonna put this away by the way. Why do I keep thinking? It's because that fucking time for you supports in my head. Gosh, I just want to play more time feeds. Yeah, because we haven't got all the English stuff. Yeah, all the English stuff hasn't been revealed yet. That thing even added the TCG. Yeah, that had added. This still cars are missing. Okay, so once this is full, like proper fucking full, and we have, we can see all the cards, we're going to go through and talk about them, but yeah, oh no, Chaos Impact is sure we aren't be a decent set, but Initial Assault is definitely where the money stuff is, in my opinion, at this point, especially with this set, just, the set does not do much for me, to be honest, outside of, um, our mages. Jelly Cannon. Oh my god, I do not want to know what that is. It doesn't have a Japanese name. No, let's end this, but funny way, what is Jelly Cannon? Da da da, pup. It's not pup prize. Oh, is it this card? Oh, we'll look at it after pup prize, because I haven't heard of this. The fuck's that card art? <laughs> um, when your opponent attacks and destroys an opponent's officer by battle, target one card you, you in your way, add it to your head. You cannot activate this, the effect of the added card or cards of the same name this turn. Okay, not that bad. <laughs> oh god, is this thing? So this. Oh yeah, fuck off. What's supposed to be the short fence? Is there no, like, short prints for this set? I don't think so. That's a big rip. Man. 
Like, it would be like, it would do like, common rare, and then that, because anything this is common rare here, is usually the short prints. Like, guaranteed fucking short print. Is there no short prints to this set? Oh, big rip. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I can't wait to talk about this. Or oh, what? Draco Masters of the Ten Year. That must be the jump point we're getting imported. Alright, let's end on that note then. We're getting, we're officially getting that jump import. <laughs> the link free that with all the arrows going down. I run out one. It's not that bad. It's pretty generic on top of that. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this. Bye guys. Um, oh yeah, video schedules. Uh, um, let's see. I'm been playing a lot of Tekkens, practicing. Um, I do have an idea for a new league video. It does involve Nasus. If that doesn't work out, do Lulu. They talk about what the next set is. If you're wondering why the next episode of um, any of plays Yugi's taking so long, it's because Monarchs are just trying to figure out something fun with them. Or Agnestis. If it, if it doesn't turn out well, I'm just going to straight out just do Fire Fist. Because I know I could just do Fire Fist within a day. I. <laughs> But yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, follow my Twitter, uh, subscribe, all those things. Oh yeah, I am gonna be trying to. I'm I'm trying to work out a new series in my head. It's it was originally gonna be a Let's Play series, but seeing the fact I'm gonna be on holiday in December, and my life is gonna be a mess after that holiday for a bit. I decided to not commit to the idea. I'm gonna commit to something that will be a little bit less effort on my behalf, and I could do it. Kind of spontaneously, but yeah. Um, more news on that. I'll lay it out. Um, bye.